In a groundbreaking move set to redefine the landscape of Formula One, F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali has unveiled the Dynamic F1 Academy initiative. This pioneering all-female driver category is poised to revolutionize the sport, nurturing and propelling young female talents toward the pinnacle of racing success. With a strategic version that transcends traditional boundaries, F1 Academy is poised to enrich the future of motorsports, fostering diversity and igniting a new era of possibilities. Join us as we delve into how the F1 Academy stands poised to reshape the very essence of Formula One as we know it. F1 Academy, an all-new female driver category, will be a part of the F1 weekends in 2024, according to F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali. Developing and preparing young females' potential for advancement to higher levels of competition is its aim. The F1 Academy's first season began with five teams, each run by active F2 and F3 squads, fielding three drivers to produce a 15-car grid over seven events and 21 races. This was done under the direction of the new managing director, Susie Wolf. Due to its scheduling to coincide with the United States Grand Prix weekend, the season finale at Circuit of the Americas will have backing from F1. Five of the seven races set for 2023 will take place at existing F1 locations. The calendars for F1 and the F1 Academy will also coincide in 2024. Domenicali stated to Sky Sports F1 in Australia, While the 2023 F1 Academy season hasn't yet begun on the track, I can assure you that Formula One will be present during racing weekends next year. Naturally, not everywhere, but that will be a component of the strategy to promote the F1 Academy. That's something we are particularly focused on, and maybe that will be the catalyst for the season to pick up. Of course, we have only just begun. F1 took the initiative to try to do something, investing in the idea that, by drawing attention to that effort, we may ideally have a girl or woman in F1 as soon as we can. We really are investing a lot, since that is our hope. We will unveil the specifics of what is more than on the track in the coming weeks. Susie Wolf will be in charge of this plan and program because we need to start raising awareness. The fact that the F1 Academy will compete in F1 events the following season is amazing and highlights of the importance of the series to Stefano and the F1 crew. Even though there's still plenty to do, we have a clear plan in place to create a project that will truly help female racing talent flourish. The season will start in full in a few weeks. The goal of the F1 Academy is to maximize young talent's potential and opportunities to ascend to the top of the racing food chain while also providing experience to young talent already competing in go-karting or other junior divisions. The most recent F1 season, which debuted in November and got underway at the Red Bull Ring, set out to alter the conventional entry process for the sport. It would be difficult to identify a driver on the current F1 grid whose sponsors or parents did not spend money on their careers before they ever sat in a single-seater. In reality, men find it easier to get the needed money than women do. It has been nine years since the last time a woman competed in an F1 race, which was 47 years ago. The F1 Academy is hoping that this is only the beginning of a protracted quest to change things. The executive director of F1 Academy and the last woman to participate in an F1 practice session, Susie Wolf, told The Guardian, I believe it's eight to ten years away from happening. That's not just because we lack the female talent pool and those who advance through the sport, it's also because we've realized how difficult it is to make it to Formula One. For all the male drivers, it's difficult. I need to control my expectations since a woman in Formula One won't happen quickly. However, I believe that this foundation and everything we accomplish with the F1 Academy over the long term will serve as the true catalyst for changing the sport, which is what prompted me to say, count me in. F1 deserves kudos for making it simpler for these women to compete, despite the fact that the 150,000 euro in subsidies each driver receives may not be sufficient to support them on their own. It offers them a significant advantage. The series objective is to serve as the first rung on the F1 career ladder. It is only limited to female drivers under the age of 25. Broadcasting is the primary issue the F1 Academy is facing. The first race in Spielberg started without any spectators. The F1 events in Azerbaijan made it inconvenient, but there was also no public transmission, making it tough to see unless you were at the Red Bull Ring. Although the decision angered fans who wished to watch the F1 Academy's inaugural race, it was understandable that Austria lacked the necessary equipment given that the F1 race requires about 120 cameras. But when professionally made multi-camera footage surfaced on the F1 Academy's social media platforms, people began to wonder why this race wasn't given the utmost priority. It's unclear when spectators will get their first live glimpse at the action, despite plans for broadcasting options, including a place on F1 TV, as there is no set date for when that's scheduled to be available. 
We're aware that for the inaugural competition, the track was the main focus. What about the drivers, though? Because it was their first time participating under the F1 banner, the broadcast issues received more attention than the actual race. Bustamante, who sounds older than her 18 years, and has a more mature voice, had a different opinion. According to the Primer Racer, I've always said in motorsports, you've always had to perform in the spotlight, and it's always been tough for a lot of drivers to perform under pressure. The Prima Racer was born the same year Fernando Alonso won his first world championship. F1 Academy has done an amazing job giving us that exposure on track and off track, the driver said. We're doing the necessary work and we'll be there when it's time to shine. Those inside said that it was obvious that having 15 cars across the starting line was more crucial than having a camera focused on them. The decision, or the impossibility, of live broadcasting the first race will never satisfy some people. All in all, the F1 Academy is not merely a niche endeavor. It's an audacious stride towards the overarching goal of infusing Formula One with fresh talent, perspectives, and dynamism. The Academy's integration into F1 Weekend starting in 2024 marks a pivotal shift, signaling the sport's unwavering commitment to elevating female participation and representation on a global stage. Importantly, the F1 Academy serves as more than just a proving ground for budding talents. It is an embodiment of F1's resolute belief in gender parity. By intertwining Academy races with F1 events, the sport is laying the groundwork for a cultural shift where gender-neutral excellence takes precedence. This strategic alignment showcases F1's determination to challenge existing norms and create an elusive motorsports community. While the F1 Academy undoubtedly has far-reaching implications for aspiring female drivers, its impact extends beyond gender dynamics. The infusion of fresh faces, styles, and strategies injects rejuvenating energy into F1, igniting fan interest and pushing the boundaries of competition. The Academy's presence at F1 weekends acts as a magnet, drawing attention from both seasoned enthusiasts and newcomers alike, thus bolstering the sport's global appeal. As the inaugural season approaches, the F1 Academy has set the wheels of change in motion. Its vision of fostering fertile ground for emerging talents resonates with F1's enduring pursuit of excellence. By bridging the gap between grassroots motorsports and the highest echelons of Formula One, the Academy is sowing the seeds of transformation that promise to yield a richer, more dynamic, and all-compassing Formula One for years to come. The journey has just begun, and the F1 Academy stands as a resounding testament to F1's commitment to progress, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of greatness.